Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the missing angle within a quadrilateral. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now, a very important note at the top of your screen, when we're working with quadrilaterals, when you add all four angles up, it has to equal 360 degrees. No matter what type of quadrilateral or what it looks like, the magic number is 360 degrees. So let's jump right into number one, where our missing angle is in the bottom right here, represented by that variable x. So we need to take a look at our knowns. We know we have 120 degrees, 180. So the first thing we do is add up those unknowns. So 120 degrees plus 100 plus 80. So if we add those up, we get 300 degrees. So we need to get to 360. So we take what we need to get to 360 degrees and subtract the 300 degrees, what we know. That will give us what our unknown is. So 360 degrees minus 300 degrees equals 60 degrees. So x equals 60 degrees. That's our missing or unknown angle. And it works because if we take a look at it algebraically, if we do 100 degrees plus 120 degrees plus 80 degrees plus x, it will have to give us 360 degrees. So what we do, we isolate our variable, we add all of these up and subtract them from 360 and that gives us what x equals. So let's take a look at number two and do another example. So our unknown is in the top right represented by x. So let's take what we do know, the 70, 132, and 81 degrees, add them up and then subtract from 360. So 132 plus 81 degrees plus 70 degrees equals 283 degrees. So now we need to do 360, what we need to get to, minus what we have, and see what our missing angle is. So a little bit of borrowing action here, and we get 77 degrees. So x equals 77 degrees. So just to recap, Add up all of your known angle measures and then subtract that from 360 and that will give you your missing angle. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.